Okay, so for this question, we're asked to find the volume. What shape is this? Good. Triangular prism. If you want to write it, you can. If you want to watch, that's fine. That way you can apply what we do here to the problems that you have on your paper. So the first thing I want to do is look on my formula chart to find the formula for volume of a prism. And on the newest math chart, it says prism of prism or cylinder, excuse me, volume e equals capital B times H. That's different from a lowercase b. So volume is capital B times H. Capital B stands for area of the base. Area. What kind of base does my triangular prism have? triangle that's why it's called triangular prism so we need to use the formula for area of a triangle we need to look at our math chart find where it says area where it says triangle and it says half base times height you could also use base times height divided by two it's up to you so I'm gonna go ahead and do that volume equals half base times height that's just the capital B right here I need to include this extra H. Now this H has nothing to do with the triangle part of my picture. It has to do with the prism part. So these rectangles that elongate or make it taller is what I'm using for height. So this is height of prism. All right, let's look at this picture. Looking at this triangle, if I'm gonna find the height, I need to find perpendicular lines or I need to find my right angle? Do I have a right angle in this triangle? Yes, I do. I see the right angle being created with these two lines, which tells me that one of these is the base and the other is the height. Does it really matter? Not really. Uh, I'm going to call for the height. <clears throat> so four is my height, which means this right here is my base but there's not a measurement for that line. Does that mean I can't solve this question? No. So what do I do? Change it. Well, let's take a look. What do I know about this bottom piece? It's rectangular. What do I know about this piece? It's a this piece is two, which means its opposite side is also two. So the base of my triangle is two. All right, let's fill this in. Half. My base is two. My height of the triangle is four. And then this other height is the height of my prism. So I look along my rectangles and I find seven as my height. All of these numbers are being multiplied. Every single one of these. And multiplication, it doesn't matter if you do one number first or the other number next. Any order that you choose, you're going to go ahead and multiply. You can, you can make it easier by putting 0.5. I honestly don't think it's easier, though, because let me show you something. Let's do 2 times 4. What's 2 times 4? 8. Okay, so I didn't use the half, but I've used those. That's 8. And then I have 7. I can take half of 8. What's half of 8? 4. 4. To me, that's easier than having to, like, multiply by 0.5. So then I have, I took half of 8, which is 4, and now I have 4 times 7. What's 4 times 7? 28. 28. Perfectly fine. You can do 8 times 7 and then half it. You could have done half of 7 to start off. You could have taken half of 2 to get 1, or you could have taken half of 4. At any time, because it's all multiplication, you can do kind of whatever you, whatever you want. So this is my answer. Don't forget that for volume, it's units cubed.